Are you going? <laughs> you don't leave the damn stage till I tell you. Oh Hello, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to Look at Hall, the Angry and After Show, where our famous guest looks at some of the hoes they work with and spills a little tea, even throws a little shade, or tells us something we do not know. Now, I forgot to do the part where I show Gerg's butt, so here it is. Look at her! Woo. Get out! <laughs> I like that was one lone. Yay! I'm the only one that's excited about that, apparently. <laughs> uh, well, of course, we're here still with the beautiful Lady Red Couture. <laughs> Lady oh, Red. Yeah. Hi, Lady Red. How's the donuts going? How many have you eaten during the show? Um, I, none of your business. But I was just handed <laughs> They're some, all gone. some liquor, so I was like, well, oh, what's shit. going on? I mean, everybody want me to be inebriated around here. Oh, oh, all you. right, all right. And uh, I like, wait, can you go back to do that sassy face? Mm, you're like LaWanna Page right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was like a Bill Cosby moment, but without the raping. Of course, Mr. Adam Joseph is here. Rick. Bink, there she is. And of course, our beautiful celebrity guest, Mr. Justin Trenter. Hello, Hello. Uh, well, this is going to be quite the look at her. All right. It's all the hers are very, very big stars. <laughs> Now, Justin, if you haven't seen this game, we're gonna, like I said, show you some of the ladies, stars you've worked with, and you'll just tell us a little something, a little tea, a little shade, a little story, okay. whatever it takes. Okay. All right? All right. Girl, uh, this is all your favorite stars over in this one. He actually knows them well, all your stars. So, let's begin. <laughs> There's not a binocular. Look at her. <laughs> Up, oh, Gwen! Oh, Queen Gwen! Yes. First of all, uh, up close. Flawless. I mean, uh, shocking. Flawless. Never aging. She, she's, she, I think she's aging in reverse. She looks better now than ever before. <laughs> yeah. The body is full sickening. Uh -huh. Like, can't even breathe. The face is painted oh. every day. Mm. Like, and even when she paints herself, she beats it down. Ooh, like, it is, she bless. will show up, you know, because a lot of the sessions are like on mom time. So right. you, even though we're making, you know, nighttime pop music, we're <laughs> right. still starting at like 10 a.m. Right. That bitch shows up in a full look, Ooh. full beat down, yes. full hair, mm. 10 a.m. Streamline, <laughs> trim, model. <laughs> She's a model. Mm, she is. She's God trim. bless. Yeah. No, yeah. She's she's uh, insanely flawless at all times. It's it's almost off-putting. Right. Like a, a, her child's birthday party was like um, uh, like hoedown themed. Oh. <laughs> and she's like serving full like long like braids, a full look. Who knows how much it costs <laughs> to put together for a, a bir child's birthday party? Amazing. Full look, full time. <laughs> Fully beat. God bless you, Gwen Stefani. <laughs> you so look good. Look at all. <laughs> oh, Selena. Oh, Selena. Now, what, uh, what, tell me, tell us a little tidbit about Selena that we might not know. Selena is one of the realest bitches ever. She tells the truth. She lives the truth. She, um, I'm trying to think of something really good. Uh -huh. An example of right. this truth. Um, She's, you know what's amazing about her? She's very aware of the standards that are different for young male stars and young female stars. Interesting. And, um, you know, because you think this you know, Disney girl, so beautiful, so flawless, right. would just be like, oh, life is amazing. And, of uh, course, she is extremely grateful for everything she has, but she's also, like, knows how fucked up some of the shit in this world is and isn't afraid to talk about it. And you know, you'd think... Because she isn't a Disney star who's gone like fully wild. She really keeps her shit yeah. together, but she knows, uh, you know, a lot of the bullshit on this planet. And I think it's amazing that we have such a mainstream star who is a Latina, woman yeah, of color, that is killing true. it, doing it. And yeah, many times whenever she's, you know, feeling the struggle or or whatever, I remind her of how amazing it is that she's gotten here. You yeah. know, this country has a real problem. <laughs> 
with Latinas lately. Mm, and this yes, bitch is- Yes, there is a problem. This <laughs> bitch is- Make sure you're not voting for Donald Trump. Or Ted Cruz. Or any one of the Republican Party. If you're watching this show and you don't just vote Democrat, unsubscribe and then kill yourself, okay? <laughs> I don't know even what to say when I'm around you. I just just tell the tea. Have you ever just seen me speechless? <laughs> I mean, this shit is like. Selena's managed drinking. to really keep to like, like you said, she didn't go nuts. Yeah. Yet she's managed to make the craft an adult image. Mm -hmm. And those songs aren't just like chorus, chorus, fun times. Let's have a party, and uh, <laughs> you know she's not doing that. No, we don't do that. Yeah, we um, don't do that. We Johnny. don't do that. We don't Johnny. do that with Selena. No, but you know what actually is an amazing thing that a lot of people probably don't know is that. Um, she insisted that Good For You be the first single for the album. Mm. She was like, I know it might not be an obvious pop hit, right. but I need to grow up, and I'm not gonna do something extra crazy, but it's still sexy, it's still smart, it's still confident. That's my fucking single. Yeah. Told the label, that's what I'm doing, and then it went number one. Awesome. Yeah, smart God bless girl. you, Selena. I'm looking at you, Selena. <laughs> Look on. Is that Cara D? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, she is training for life and death, yes, baby. Is. That's her. That is Cara yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes, Sometimes baby. they put these up and I'm like, who is she? <laughs> 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 um, yes, so. Hey, Cara girl. That, that picture of her is very odd. I didn't, that's why I, was, I didn't realize it was her. Um, <laughs> geez, this bitch, mm. this bitch, her and I have an amazing story. Okay. Multiple. One, I met Stevie Nicks oh, right. with Carity. Right. Wow. Which was pretty amazing. Wow. <laughs> and obviously Carity's a model yep. and fabulous, um, but she's a drummer. A, a pretty fucking oh, good she's drummer. Oh, got a rock and roll pedigree, yeah. y'all. And so she is, was just as excited to meet Stevie as I was, <laughs> and we both, Freak the fuck out. There's pictures of it, and we both look insane. <laughs> I'm wearing like, like, <gasps> like um, a skin tight, like wool tight. Mm. You know, ladies as tight. One, as one uh, in the and Justin Tranter of you is meant to do. <laughs> and with my dance belt on, was doing like an up tuck. Oh, an up tuck. So it just looks like that creepy, like, um, <laughs> like ballet Ken thing. Right, kind of and like a like a cod piece. Yeah, <laughs> queen first time in dress at a ball. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know what Paris meant. Butch Queen! Butch Queen. Um, and, but the shirt was like pretty short, so okay. the, the cod piece is in full display. It just looks really uncomfortable for oh my everyone. God. And so it's me and Cara D and Stevie Nicks, and she's, Stevie's wearing like these fierce, like see through Ray Bans. Uh -huh. You know? It was a pretty special moment. Amazing. But me and Cara D also, we did one of our first trips to LA. We would, we'd come out and we'd play the Viper Room like three nights in a row. Right. Fabulous, sell it out, have like different LA bands open for us. Really amazing time. And we would always do an after party at the Mondrian. And me and, you know, when the Mondrian has like the club at the Sky Bar at night, yeah. you can't get in the pool. Uh -huh. And we, of course, were like, fuck this, let's uh -huh. get in the pool. So like, we're and, rock and roll, man. Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> so me and Carney jump in the pool and start making out, and security literally like rips us out of the pool Whoa. and starts to, you know, throws us out of our own party. Which was pretty amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. They're like, somebody call Lady Gaga! <laughs> <laughs> Only Gaga can save me now. She wasn't a star then. Oh, no. They would have been like, okay. They're like, ooh! <laughs> Gaga one time did save me, though, from getting kicked out of a club. Oh, did she? Yeah, went after she was a mega star. I was like mm. dancing on, on like a, a, a partition of sorts. Uh -huh. And security was going to have me removed. And she just went like with these long, fabulous nails and a long gray wig. Calm down. Calm down, he's fine, calm down. So I've been saved, saved by Gaga. Saved by the Gaga. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at her. <laughs> Cindy Lauper. Queen Cindy. Love Cindy. Now, what, did you work with Cindy? Um, I haven't written with Cindy, but I performed with her uh -huh. um, at the True Colors uh, holiday show in New York, like the big signature Fun. event for her charity. Yeah. Um, and that was an insane moment, because Cindy, when I was, I mean, my whole life been obsessed, but like she was like when I was like four or five, like the first star that I recognized as a star and was obsessed with. Right. Um, so I definitely cried on stage singing with her. And do you get rehearsal when you're doing something like we that? We had a rehearsal. Um, really, I walked into the rehearsal because she was a fan of the, of the band. Uh-huh. And so, it's gotta feel good when all your favorite stars are already a fan. That's the way to meet it's someone. It's like when nuts. they like you already. Like, how is life real? <laughs> yeah. But so when I walked in, 
she didn't know that I have transitioned into a lesbian. Oh, okay. Uh, visual, visually. Right. And so she um, <laughs> was, I was like, hi, Cindy. And she was like, into rehearsal. Right. To sing with her. Yeah. Was like, hi. And then turns like the woman that works for her. I was like, who, who is this? <laughs> right. It's Justin Tranter, the songwriter. And she, that, that didn't ring a bell either with her. Because <laughs> I was there and I, cause I sang like a medley of my songs they're written for other people right. and then I sang uh, one of the through, all through the night with Cindy mm -hmm. um, and the, she was like oh, I don't and they're like from Semi Precious Weapons and she then she turns around and she's like are you gonna dress like that tomorrow night and I was <laughs> like you I know mean, a little more but pretty much like this and she's <laughs> like oh like thoroughly disappointed wow but then we performed and we both cried and we hugged and I think she forgave me for my my, my butchness She's like, even though you look like a weird lesbian, I still like your chicken. That's a pretty good impression. Well, <laughs> it was not a little cockney.